We have a relatively busy week ahead of us. We have amazing weather, allegedly all week, assuming they don't change it. So we are just busting out everything we can. Welcome back, sir. Holy crap! Ready to burn, huh? Ready to go! He's going there. This grows crazy fast. And. Pretty sure it's devil's club. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what else it would be. Maybe we're wrong, but pretty sure it's devil's club. And. 
it devil's club is named properly if you oh, it's bad <laughs> getting pretty nasty so we are also going to be headed to the post office today i've got a whole bunch of mosquito stuff waiting for us there <laughs> so. Baby is skeeter proof. <laughs> they have no interest in it. I don't know about skeeter proof, but he uh, definitely doesn't get many on him. But we also have skeeter nets for him in the mail. Because Compared to you, he's skeeter proof. Yeah, God, they love me. It really sucks. I want to go fishing. I know. Oh, yeah, what's the other news if they missed my YouTube short? We're having a baby. <laughs> uh, if you missed Doom it. Gremlin. If you missed it. Nice out. Besides the wind. Yeah, that rain's coming. Oh, that what is. That's mean. Woohoo! Everything was glued, nailed, and screwed together. And it's like, it was a bunk bed. <laughs> Why did it need to be so fancy, Henry? I'm just not good at adjusting. <laughs> I know how. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's been a while since I played with tools anyway. I'm gonna want when the grain's going, here. you want to be perpendicular with the grain. So, if you had it like this... Mm -hmm. What I'm attempting to do is make just a small, really easy, really free hoop house for putting all of my seedlings in during the day. At night, I'll have to keep bringing them inside right now, but when we move the camper over here, and all the seedlings over here, I'm not gonna have room for them inside anymore. They're all still in that little cabin. So I'm taking these leftover bunk bed boards and I think I'm gonna see if I can get alder to bend well enough and then I'll drill holes so that I can get the bend. And then we've got plenty of visqueen sitting around. I'm pretty sure you can see that. Just get a layer over it, slit myself a little door and I can take plants in and out of it. <laughs> doing this pretty rough. I want to be able to take it back apart and use it for something else if I want. I want it to be free and I want it to be simple. And I am the furthest one from a perfectionist. Yours. As long as it's sturdy, that's all I care about. Splits. I don't care about splits. Honestly, that would make a really nice raised bed too. So I might transfer to something like that once I no longer need it for seedlings if we ever get an actual greenhouse built. Gus, hey, do you want to 
broken wood. Levi is staining the floor of the cabin again. It's just getting worn, worn down with us walking on it and rain and stuff. So he's restaining that since we're not working on it today anyway. And I'm going to eyeball maybe a couple alders and see if they work. Well, you know, Gus, did the baby get upset? He's fine, Gus. <laughs> Come here. It's okay. He just wanted to know where we all went. You were just covered in a blankie, weren't you? Here. Good morning. We're back at the property. The guys are doing some cabin work. Um, there are two more rows all the way around of logs to do and then they'll start the gable ends. I'm abandoning the hoop house idea and shifting to a wall tent A-frame style idea <laughs> on my miniature little greenhouse. So I'm gonna get to that while Henry's happy. I need like a ridge pole. And I don't want to go back to get any more alders because I hit some devil's club with my knee and my knee's like kind of all marked up from it. Devil's club's evil. So I just went and got one of our 8 billion little birch. yesterday I think <laughs> he's still not very bright he's but. embarrassed well his girlfriend does it better you know that thing sticks out there that far
Potato, Gus. That's what it feels like. Oh, yeah. We've got a long ways to go, kids. There you have it. This went way too long. I didn't think about that. That's better. That's better, Henry. What's wrong with you? She's all done. There's my little door system. It's just one of those extra alders. We'll keep that from blowing around. Got a little bit of <laughs> screw sticking out. A little bit of airflow here. Hopefully it won't get too hot. But it's pretty sturdy. I could have cut these down, but I didn't. But she'll freaking work. Pulling over back here. It's overall pretty. Pretty good and tight and sturdy. We were out of staples. So I did that with some end grain. The guys cut off the logs. I dug all of the screws out of the trash. I'm really happy with it. It took a little bit of peeling of the alders, took some trial and error, and ended up totally changing the design, but uh, it really did turn out well. It's sturdy and it should keep my seedlings warm during the day and at night. I think it, we definitely froze last night. It was, the like mud puddles were kind of froze, so in a little while, maybe a couple more weeks, I'll be able to leave them out all the time. 
in something like that. And then I will probably leave like peppers and tomatoes in that even as they grow. And then since it's movable, I was thinking I can always put it up on blocks if those plants start to get too tall for it. But we just don't have enough heat for those plants. So they will need some kind of greenhouse, but I think that'll work. I might end up building a second one. I haven't fully decided. Now that I kind of know <laughs> how I can do it better, I can probably build a pretty nice second one, but I don't think I'll worry about that today at least. I want to get my seedlings in there first and kind of see how it does before I get too crazy and take up more of this spare lumber that we might end up needing for something more important. So, <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with it. That was my fun little project and now I need to clean up. Thank you. I have coffee someplace. Yeah, do you want it? No, I don't. What happened to the kid's face? What's wrong with his face? Look at the back of his head. Been dripping coffee on him? No, he was, this was bunched oh, and he was goodness. chewing on it. It's not his face, it's the wrap. That's a pretty good overhang, huh? 